just want to make you laugh I just want to see you that smile Baby, we're only here For a little while I just want to hold you till I fall asleep I want love I want us I want you I want me I want peace Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Morning Coffee with your host, Rick Alexander. You guys can follow me at Rick Alexander underscore or at Lionheart Radio on Instagram. On Thursday, we kick off the second installment of the Clarity Academy. I believe we have one spot left as of this recording. So if you're interested in that, hit me up. We can slide you into that last spot at the last minute. Today's show, I'm going to talk about something we actually do talk about in the Clarity Academy a little bit, and that is purpose versus mission. So one of the things that I've noticed a lot is that people tend to look for their purpose a lot, and they feel like, okay, if I were to find my purpose, like you're always searching and you feel like if I were to find my purpose, then I'd wake up every day excited. Like it it would probably solve a lot of your problems. That's how you feel. And the reason you feel that way is because the human mind is wired to look for simplicity. And we always are looking for the easy way out of things, honestly, because we have so many complexities in our life. Like you always want, like, that's why people are always like, there's no magic pill. There's no this, right? And The reason that's a thing is because people are looking for that magic pill. They are looking for that one hack that's going to get them ahead. And I think we, albeit not knowing, actually do the same thing with purpose. Like we're like, okay, if I could just find my one purpose on this earth, everything would be okay. I think that that's a flawed system. I think it's a flawed logic altogether because as anybody who's been alive long enough understands this human thing is such a paradox. Like this human experience is a constant paradox. We're always holding space for multiple things within us at once. Now, sometimes we become ineffective when we try to hold space for too many things. But this is why I think it's important to have a mission and your purpose is always changing and you're always taking on multiple purposes. So your mission is like, how do I want to impact the world while I'm here? And again, even that changes, like I just updated mine like six months ago, but it does add as a great self-selecting mechanism for figuring your life out. So like if opportunities come at you, if you're growth minded, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're somebody that's looking to get ahead, it's really tempting to want to jump and take every single opportunity that comes your way. But the reality is that you might get more done by saying no and keeping your focus more narrow because we talked about last week like we all have a very limited emotional bandwidth for things we have a very limited capacity to focus on multiple things at once even though we feel like we can do it sometimes we actually can't that well and so that's why i think it's so important to have a good mission because it, it kind of allows you to say yes or no to opportunities based on where you're actually trying to go in life not based on what sounds good at the time or what will provide accolades or anything like that But as far as finding a single purpose, I think that's flawed logic because you will have multiple purposes at once. And I think that if you decide not to, if you try to have like single minded focus, you can get really far in one thing, but you could end up leaving a lot of life on the table. And the reason I know this is because I've interviewed so many top athletes on this show that I I can almost hear it in their voice sometimes. Like they really put a ton of time aside to get really good at their craft and to like really focus on mastery. And then they get to a point where they realize, and this is what I say on the show all the time, like all of the PRs, all of the accolades, all of the finish lines mean nothing if your head's a mess and you don't have good relationships and you don't feel connected to the world around you and to your life at large. And that's why I think if you have a mission and it's centered in your values, you are always sort of moving in the right direction, or at least you can cross reference your decisions to make sure that you're moving in the right direction. But as far as your purpose, that depends on your season in life. And then you can take your purposes and sort of make it so that they are aiming you in the direction of your mission. But your purpose right now might be to be a good father or a good mother and a good athlete and a good whatever your profession is, entrepreneur, whatever. And so to think that you would just find this one purpose and that would kind of float you through all of the seasons in life, one, I know very few people with that much focus, but two, you're probably leaving life on the table. There's probably a lot of things that you're not getting to experience 
because of your pursuit of this one thing. Now, a lot of people listening to the show are like hell bent on success and you guys are like drivers hard. And I think that's amazing, but you just need to be very honest with yourself about what the cost of your success will be with the rest of your life. Because you do want to understand that like, again, I've, I've actually sponsored athletes who, who really put their heart and soul into getting to the CrossFit Games, but like then their family wasn't in the stands when they finally got there. And that is, it's terrible. Like that is, that's not, in my opinion, a great way to live your life. But again, my opinion is not that important. I think what's more important is that you really take stock in what it's going to cost for you to pursue the purpose that you feel drawn to. And then ask yourself if you're actually willing to pay those costs. And if not, then you got to find other ways to, or you got to find other places where you might have purpose. Now, depending on the season in your life, your purpose might be to learn a lesson from this tragic thing you just went through so that you can rebuild your life with some semblance of peace again. And that might be your purpose. Your purpose might be to put one foot in front of the other until you're out of the storm. And that's okay too. Like to look for this overarching thing that like you're gonna fall in love with and make every day amazing, it's not a thing. And even when you do find the things that you're put on this earth to do, this idea that you're gonna wake up every day and just like wanna do it is ridiculous. Like for me, I would say writing is the thing for me. If I could only do one thing for the rest of my life, it'd be right. But I just went through about five week period where I was having just it felt like I was like painstakingly pulling the words out of me and I didn't like any of them. I don't think I wrote one thing of value in a month uh, over about a page. And that's super hard, but I also know like it sort of does ebb and flow and that inspiration will come back, the muse will speak to me and I'll be back where I'm at. But, to un but I didn't wake up like fired up to go like sit down at a desk with writer's block and that's okay. Like that doesn't mean that my mission or purpose are waning. It just means I have a very realistic approach to what my life is and what my purpose is at this moment. Sometimes I have to take time off from writing so that I can really focus on my coaching business and ensure that I'm getting my clients what they need. Right? And so my question for you today would be to ask yourself to like really think about your activities and ask yourself, what are your purposes right now? Now, if you find yourself engaging in a lot of activities that are way outside of your purpose and your mission at this season in your life, well, then that's when you start shoring things up. You start getting rid of things that aren't serving you or, or aren't serving what your overall mission or purpose is. It's really easy with the human mind to think that we should get one sort of purpose, but the complexities of the human condition ensure that that will probably actually never be a thing and that we will have multiple purposes throughout multiple times in our life. And I think that's actually better because you get to experience more of this life thing. Hope this makes sense for you. If you're that person that's always searching for your one purpose, I hope that you get just a little bit of relief from it. I uh, love you guys. I will talk to you later on Morning Coffee. My whole life is a blur. A daydream with no sky to lean on. I use my heart when it wants to work. These days I get so lost Don't mind me, it's just the face Nothing a good job alone can fix Put on some Jimmy world And just drop the days Get sad, get lonely, get over it Yeah Things don't have to fade A thousand reasons all turned into better ways To leave is still half far behind Said I'd be out of smile just a little more often
Something tells me I'm not done Call me what you will But don't blame me when I run I'm just another scar for you to miss It's this town, I swear, it never liked me When times were good, man, they were good Fighting the good fight, setting our souls on fire We were never cool, but we were young, yeah, we were free Maybe even the fools get lucky, one day you'll see One, two, one, two, three, four oh. 